Okay, the topic of the next press conference is famous who handled 100 heroes and those who died in the struggle for democratic and independent Ukraine will receive financial uh, assistance. Our guest is the uh, MP of Ukraine, Petro Poroshenko Blanc, President and Y of the Crimean uh, uh, Tatar's issues, Mr. Mustafa uh, Jamilev, Martin Magachik, Vice Chairman of the Foundation of Education and Democracy, and Tamil Atasho, founder and coordinator of the civil movement, Crimesos. Good afternoon. First of all, we would like to thank everybody who came here. Perhaps, first of all, I turn the mic to my colleague Martina, who is going to talk about the project, because this is the um, joint Ukrainian Polish project, uh, which we're implement here in Ukraine. Then we are going to give the floor to Mr. Krzysztof Stanowski, President of Foundation International Fundament and Mustafa Jamilev. Thank you for you what you come in for the fact you came here. So we are honored to present this project and to work together with Grimia Sos. Uh, Mustafa Ga decided we are going to support with their money the uh, families of the heavenly um, hundred, but other speakers will talk about that. But in the framework of this project, we are going to provide financial assistance not to the families of the heavenly hundred. Hundred. We decide together with Stan Miller there are two different categories of families which we are going to support. Families of the medical officers who die were killed in this East Ukraine and the journalists uh, killed journals. We are going to implement this project till the end of um, uh, November, and I hope that we will be able to promptly respond to what is going to happen for the next few months to us as to the Polish public organization. This is a big, a very good uh, moment. Well, we can compare it with the Ukrainian public organization because in our part this is not what we can provide the monetary assistance but also this is a chance to demonstrate that um, that uh, the, the uh, heavenly hundred are not those people who are easy to forget also in Poland there were and, and, and you, you know there are uh, there were some other females famous of the medical officer journals who really need this kind of assistance. I'm going to add that indeed to us, this is one of the most difficult, I mean, you were talking about the emotions involved, um, the difficult, it's difficult project. When we're working on the list on the more specific and the um, uh, clarified space, uh, we were living once again and remember the events um, which took place at the Maidan and each loss or uh, casualty in the ATO zone, I'm talking about the uh, families of the uh, killed medical officers and journalists. I would like to say that uh, uh, much regret. We have the families of the Hamilton Hundred, and indeed, and, and certainly, it's very difficult for us to talk about them. Also, uh, we have the families of the. Uh, of the medical officers or uh, journals who died in, the, in those those and with those lists it was mo much more difficult for us to work we had to make our choice for example those journals who were uh, who were killed in, uh, in, in time of their duties were not not so many of those who were killed in the ATO but the majority of the journals were I mean, who volunteered to, uh, to fight the front line that they were killed in action. And also it was very difficult to work with, um, uh, uh, let's say, with the further specifications of the list of the medical officers who died there. We today um, provide the assistance to 185 families, including the families of the um, uh, Heavenly Hundred, and now we have uh, three um, uh, families of the kind I mentioned. We are going to talk about that later. Also, we are talking about the inclusion in the list of those um, people who are, you know, uh, we are talking about the um, solidarity bonus of uh, Mustafa Jamilev, uh, medical officers, uh, families. 
also included family of those who were, uh, who died fighting fighting uh, for the independence of Ukraine. We are talking about multi children, our families with many children who most uh, mostly require this assistance or financial aid. This project is going to be implemented until the end of November. We already started this project. There was kind of two months preparatory period before the, we started implementation of this project. But I also would like to say that this bonus is very important and uh, which was uh, rece received Mustafa Jamila, uh, uh, Mustafa Aga, uh, and uh, why we provide this assistance or aid from the, uh, this money of this uh, prize um, uh, to the families of those who uh, died uh, defend defending the, uh, the independence of this country because Mr. Mustafa Jamil for whole his life was fighting against uh, the uh, let's say injustice in the uh, former country. So perhaps now I'll give the floor to Mr. Jamilev and then to uh, Krzysztof. Uh. The uh, so on the last year on uh, June three, uh, I received uh, the, the award of uh, Soldata one for one million euro. And for um, advocacy activity, according to the uh, conditions uh, of that uh, of that uh, award, 250,000 uh, just uh, for the receipt of the award, and 750 should be spent for programs uh, to develop the democracy in your country. For humanitarian uh, uh, efforts and assistance, human uh, nothing is. Uh, Yes, but when they uh, awarded me with the, that award, I asked um, to nominate um, 100,000 uh, for to help uh, relatives of uh, the Heavenly Hundred. And uh, I um, started with uh, number 100. But during the research and the investigation of what was happening uh, during uh, those dramatic uh, days in uh, February, um, January, February, March, uh, the number of uh, those uh, who died or those patriots uh, went up substantially. And I'm uh, very thankful to Krzysztof uh, Stanowski. They uh, expressed understanding and they analyzed that number. And up to that number, our organization, Crimsos, uh, identified. There is that sum is not big. Uh, symbolic, and in such a way, we wanted uh, to express our respect, uh, res uh, tribute to those people and patriots of our country, uh, thanks uh, to whom Ukraine became free and uh, got liberated from that mafia regime. And we'll remember those uh, uh, people forever. And this uh, award is just a reminder to uh, people that we remember them. That's what I wanted to tell. We we owe them forever, and then because of them, we live in a, a free democratic country. Um, good, of, good morning. Um, sold, solidarity award. That is uh, the the award of uh, Polish government, and uh, those are money for uh, taxpayers, who, which uh, Polish government gives uh, to people who. Yeah, a struggle for uh, freedom, for liberty, and for us, for Poland, she is a Poland. It's very important for the Polish. It's very because we we don't, we don't understand what solidarity means. Uh, solidarity means that uh, so uh, the life of not rather Uh, life of other pe uh, uh, people is as important as the life of my wife, or my relative, or my ch children. And Mustafa Jamilev expressed that uh, solidarity for uh, the rights of uh, Crimean Tatars and uh, of other uh, peoples. And uh, such solidarity we received when we were uh, we were assisted, and uh, that's why we would like to share that. So that the first uh, the first word of solidarity was. Uh, 
given to uh, Mustafa Jamil, and uh, it's, uh, we thank him that he received uh, that uh, award, and uh, also to those uh, who 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 uh, make this uh, possible. Crimes also found uh, civic NGOs, which uh, assist uh, cooperation between Polish and Ukrainian, uh, and in this sense, Crimean Tatars uh, partners. Just. The last week, there was it was announced who will be the next person who receives that award. That that will be Jana Nemtsova, daughter of uh, Boris Nemtsov. I spoke to her, and she told me, "I would like to continue what." What Mustafa ha began, my father, he told that how incorrectly, how bad the occupation of Crimea was. He was one of those who protested and, and, uh, um, against Russian aggression in Ukraine and attack on uh, Crimea and occupation of Crimea is very important for me uh, to, uh, to continue that on the 4th of, of uh, August she will tell in details how she will use that uh, award but I know that the part of that award will be used here in Ukraine and I understand for that and uh, Hemel 100 is a part of that and uh, once again from Polish government uh, I would like to thank uh, Mustafa Alha. and uh, we Polish government we wanted to do that uh, just uh, to pay tribute uh, to uh, the Hemel 100 because uh, those are pe people gave everything and uh, journalists um, doctors uh, for Ukraine uh, to be uh, independent and for us, for Poland, that's very important to have uh, free independent Ukraine uh, and uh, Crimea is Ukraine and Donbass is Ukraine and we have to remember about that and, uh, and to speak about that all the time. Thank you. Yehor, could I ask you to say several words about your father? Because I believe that uh, we uh, once again we should um, uh, mention those heroes who died uh, for our independence, and then Mustafa, uh, I will ask you to I will say a couple of words. Thank you for the invitation. I represent. Uh, we have three of us. We represent our families of uh, families um, we got united and we have an NGO and we support each other and we're trying to help the way we can to those who need that assistance. My father died on the 18th of February that was the day when the first um, victims uh, were there was a, a 10, 10 p.m. Uh, near uh, the house of uh, 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 the, uh, the bullet uh, uh, destroyed his um, uh, backbone. He was a 64, he was a pensioner. But he thought that it was his duty to be on that day on a peaceful demonstration. He had, uh, he could go home. We discussed that and um, we were in Marinsky Park, we were running away from that place. We did not understand uh, what was happening because uh, really they used uh, physical force against us and um, the people were killed and uh, to death. We decided to return to uh, Maidan, to Khrushchev, and unfortunately uh, around 10 o'clock uh, uh, my father died because uh, uh, they um, used uh, the pump pump uh, rifle and uh, to kill him. I would like to th uh, thank you for the support. Uh, I would like to express that support to Polish uh, government and people who who uh, 
who express uh, what people think, and uh, the government is um, an indicator of those uh, thoughts. Uh, they are in in among Polish people, so the the government is not separate. Uh, it's clear by the steps of uh, the Polish uh, government. And what uh, Polish uh, people do now, that some some of uh, the families uh, went to recreation uh, to Poland, and uh, at the invitation of ex-president Komarowski, and uh, he told, and uh, a group went for recreation with children. I believe that such steps and uh, are the expression of uh, of. Uh, brotherhood and so Polish people despite Ukrainians always are fighting against uh, Poland and uh, for many years for centuries but at uh, present we see what uh, what it means uh, uh, brother nation they help the way they can with uh, awards with funds uh, with support and they invite for the creation and that nation, I don't say that Rus Russians are all the same, but they, their government uh, express uh, not uh, the thoughts of uh, people. They provide quite a different uh, support. Uh, they provide weapons, uh, they instigate uh, hatred, and uh, those, uh, they incite, na uh, and uh, they're not a brother nation. Thank you very much, Mustafa. Mustafa and uh, uh, you are a very strong person. I I know Crimean Tatars and uh, journalists, and uh, they say that we have leaders, uh, Mustafa and uh, Chubarov, and I forgot the name. Uh, these are the leaders uh, people follow, and uh, you have great support. And uh, I'm, I hope that in Ukraine and in Crimea, as a part of Ukraine, soon there will be peace and uh, f uh, we will flourish. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Uh, Miss Katerina, if you can say a few words. If you're too emotional, maybe you should uh, should not uh, come here. Uh, I apologize, I'm a bit... Uh, I'll try to, you know, to calm down. This is my only son. He was 44. He actually volunteered to the Maidan. And he, as a young person, he was fed up with this the former regime. Everything was. was uh, in those days, he went to Maidan, to join the Maidan, and he stayed there for the, all, all the time. He was killed on um, on February the 18th in, during the peaceful rally. And he, he was actually wounded from a shotgun. And, uh, as I talked to the uh, medical officers who stayed in the house of officers, uh, there were three of the guys, they were carried there. Uh, Iman the first, Sergei Didik, Shapoval Sergei, and Kishuk. They, uh, three of them, uh, they were in the house of officers. My son uh, knew um, Pechersk district very well because I myself I worked for many years at the Arsenal plant, and he uh, actually attended uh, the kindergarten and then the Arsenal sponsored school he really knew well this area and he was found wounded in the uh, Kutuzov uh, alley and they tried to resuscitate him but they failed uh, he actually he, he lost his blood 
uh, his internal uh, organs were uh, actually damaged and uh, they, they couldn't do anything to bring him back to life. And he actually tried to protect me. He, he told me he was going to Maidan. He, he sh I actually, I, I, I could foresee that when I saw him on February the 18th, uh, the photo of those three uh, killed guys. Of course, I, 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 I really doubt I could survive if it were not for the assistance given to me by my neighbors. I just couldn't live with that. I understand that those uh, who have their children and they, they actually they, um, sympathize, sympathize with their, their children even if they have a small scratch on their fingers but I had the only one son, the only son. Now I have the daughter, the granddaughter but I, I lost my the, the nearest and dearest person who I could say that I loved him. Uh, uh, I cannot do it now. I'm walking, uh, and my head is always up. I, I take special pride in my, my son. He went to protect the rights of the, uh, the simple people and then to protect the Ukraine from this dictatorship. It's very difficult for me to talk now. As Igor mentioned, we have a public organization families of the heavenly hundred. You know, uh, before this organization was established, I used to come back home. I, I don't know, uh, I try to, 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 to keep my tears back when I'm concerned by the people but I can do that when I get them back home. I start communicate with the families of the Heavenly Hundred. Uh, my eager and myself, really, even the Obalon uh, district of Kiev, there are six people in, from that district who were killed. I started to uh, communicate with the family of the Heavenly Hundred. This is really very, very difficult. This is hard to do. This, this, grief, this is the grief. Uh, which can be understood only by, by those people who lost their nearest and dearest. My one communicating with the Heavenly Hundred family, I, I, I receive uh, huge support from them. We gather together, we discuss our, uh, you know, some of the uh, matters. I would like to, to, to say, uh, a lot of thanks to, to our Polish friends from the, on my behalf and behalf of our of the family of the uh, Heavenly Hundred to the Polish government and the community. My uh, do, uh, granddaughter uh, visited Poland uh, uh, last year uh, under invitation of the Polish government, and and, and again she. She, she visited Poland again, and uh, next month she is going to Poland again. She likes Poland very much, and she came, when she came back, she said, I, was, I communicated with the Polish children, and she said they are very um, open um, and uh, kind, and uh, really I would like to say thanks a lot, thanks a lot for that. I told my uh, granddaughter, or, little longer, learn the Polish language. When you uh, graduate from the high school, may, maybe they will invite you from Poland to study there. So again, thank you very much. Mustafa Aga. Uh, I also would like to thank you very much. When they, you know, I, I, I haven't known you till today, I know, I mean, um, I haven't met you physically, I, I, but I, I, I've seen you a lot 
on TV. I, I do sympathize uh, with the Tartar, Crimean Tatar people. You are a brave and courageous person. I, I really experience uh, very uh, big uh, love, experience love towards you. I would like to to wish you sound health, so the could could complete all the um, you know all the um, everything which you plan to do. I really wish that the Crimea be liberated from the Russian aggression. Whatever uh, the Russians say, Crimea has been always ours, is ours, and always will be. And uh, 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 this is a, a merit goes to you, to your followers, and to your Crimean people. Thanks a lot of you. I kneel down before you. Thank you. Thank you very much for the fact that you educated and brought up such courageous and brave son I would like to ask Colin Rebak. I would invite him to tell about your husband, uh, William Rebak, who died during the first days of uh, attack of Russians and uh, uh, and uh, during the capture in uh, Donetsk and Luhansk regions. Volodymyr was um, a deputy and he was an activist and, uh, and that person who raised the uh, whole of the Ukrainian flag. And for that, so-called BS gave an order To take his life, and uh, if you could say a couple of words, please. My husband, Rybak Vladimir, he was an active, uh, active participant of Maidan. He lived uh, through all those awful days uh, since uh, 18 to 21st uh, February 2014, and he told uh, to his uh, colleagues and friends that since. Uh, I survived, I will live uh, for long. But I would say the Russian government decided a uh, different and uh, they took the lives of many Ukrainians. My husband was on Maidan when they started annexation of Crimea. And, uh, and uh, they showed that on the big uh, monitor on the Maidan. And I told him uh, periodically, I told him, Lola, in Crimea, there is a uh, disorder in Crimea. Uh, green men are there, and uh, Russia is there. He told, no, everything will be fine. You don't know You don't know how strong Mijlis uh, is there. You don't know how st uh, strong leaders they have. And uh, they have uh, Mustafa Jamilev and uh, Chubarov, and uh, I don't know, I didn't know about this appeal. I, d I didn't know that I would see you so close. He told you, will see you, they will not allow, they will stand for that. And we saw that events uh, uh, developed a different way, and uh, everything was uh, very quick. And those uh, men, little men, they, they went to Donbass, and then he came. And uh, they killed him for um, uh, he was uh, taken not for the flag, but he was uh, he was a leader of a pro-Ukrainian movement. He had a group and he collected people, and he wanted uh, them to stand against. And he called all city authorities and the mayor to stand against that. And uh, at that time, it was uh, possible. It was uh, the third day when they captured Horlovka. The city was, uh, there was still pro-Ukrainian people. And uh, after one of such meeting, they kidnapped him. Four men kidnapped him. They were in Balaklavis, and they had uh, special skills. And uh, they spoke with Russian accent. After that, nobody knew where he was. And on the 22nd of April, he was found near near Slavyansk with the Ukrainian Patriot report Popravko. They were uh, tied and other bodies. Um, there were uh, lots of uh, wounds and uh, 
and I read the list uh, about uh, Russian uh, Kremlin Tortas uh, Patriot. Uh, they had uh, some beastly wounds uh, on his body. The, that Kremlin Tortas was uh, kidnapped, and uh, there were like uh, piercing uh, wounds, and uh, they went even further. Uh, a normal person cannot uh, go for such tortures, and uh, and that was not enough for them. They were uh, torturing even uh, dead uh, corpses, and uh, they were beaten. They pierced, and both of them were pierced uh, from, uh, and they uh, attached uh, back sex with uh, sand, sand, and uh, that speaks about uh, that beastly face of that Russian world. And then. In Donbass, um, they started uh, to clear up Ukra uh, pro Ukrainian patriots, and uh, I was in the same state as uh, IDPs uh, of Crimean Tatars. We came over here, and uh, the, I didn't receive any support here. If the, uh, if uh, not families of uh, have only uh, 100, I don't know how our life would uh, develop. I'm very thankful to Polish people, Polish government. And we just, uh, the day after yesterday, came from that trip, and the government of Poland organized for families with, uh, for families of Henley 100. We were impressed with such a reception in Poland. Uh, very hospitable people. We were pleased to feel that we are not alone in this world. Thank you very much. We get some recreation, we got some hope that maybe something will be better here because we are not alone. We are resistance. Thank you very much, Mustafa Jamiro. Because you, with your life example, with all your life, and now that you have, you support not only Ukrainian Taras but also Ukrainian patriots, you show to our government. <coughs> that at this uh, difficult time one could be uh, honest and I wish you help, uh, health uh, for you to have enough of uh, energy to receive this uh, goal. That is, I'm sure it will happen that uh, Crimea will return uh, to Ukraine and, uh, and uh, then there will be no persecution of uh, Crimean Tatars and uh, we will live as one family and uh, we want to have the, and we'll have the democracy and the human rights will be respected and uh, thank you very much uh, for remembering uh, the first victims on this uh, on this road thank you very much Thank you, friends, colleagues, journalists. If you have any question to our speakers, please raise your hands. Let me one verification from Ukrainian Christ media. So you told, uh, could you repeat the general sum which will be um, given to support families of uh, 100 and uh, which uh, sum goes to every uh, family? How much goes to every family? One hundred uh, four families uh, on uh, the list of uh, have only hundred and other quarters. Uh, that is uh, for families of doctors and uh, journalists. First of all, so we make calculations. All award, as Mustafa told, uh, that is one million, and uh, there are three parts. Uh, the first part uh, and. Uh, just personal for uh, the uh, awardee, we, we know uh, Mustafa Jimil, uh, not for the first or second year. That uh, part is also used uh, for people. The second part uh, that was uh, for trips uh, of children for uh, students uh, to Poland who went uh, the first time to Poland just uh, to see Poland and uh, the war who selected uh, together with them, uh, Mustafa uh, and we understand that uh, those were children for whom it would be uh, very necessary and uh, a part uh, went uh, to support uh, media and legal support uh, to people who need 
the support and under a difficult legal situation and all of that uh, on territory of Ukraine uh, with uh, Crimea, Donbass, because there are different people and uh, they need assistance. I will I'll say this. Open and pessimistically, we have 185 uh, donations and 104, that is uh, for the 100, and uh, the other category, which is uh, Tamila mentioned, and uh, by the end we cannot uh, say how many will be, uh, there will be doctors and uh, journalists, unfortunately, because uh, half uh, of July, it's the uh, middle of July, let's be honest, uh, these uh, lists are not final, we have some several months, and I'm afraid uh, that there will be more names. As that Mila told that the work with those uh, list that is uh, very complicated will uh, wait until the end of October. So the don uh, donations will be um, um, issued uh, family after family, but as we understand uh, that these uh, two categories, um, doctors and uh, journalists, uh, those uh, lists are not final and uh, they will continue. That list will grow next year and the next one. What is the sum? $1,000 for a family from uh, 100, and um, that is the quota, and that is uh, without uh, taxation, uh, uh, not tax stand uh, as an issue from Poland. Uh, we can uh, provide such assistance uh, um, exempt uh, from taxes uh, in Poland uh, $1,000. Colleague journalist, any any question? No questions. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for this very important, uh, very good deed. Good luck and see you in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Our next briefing will be at twelve o'clock.